This is the Tweet Bag. You send your questions in and we answer them like no other radio segment ever. It's the Tweet Bag on the Connor Happer Show. Many people responding to the provocative question that we asked earlier. Would you rather have a Colorado college football playoff ticket championship, by the way, or a sandwich? Uh, so far, we have a few responses, and they all say sandwich in oh, some wow. way, shape, or form. Sad. We didn't make it a poll question, but we could. Um, oh, great. And I put yes, no instead of <laughs> I'm an idiot. Did you do that already? I, I did. I made it a poll question. Would you rather have a Colorado National Championship ticket or a sandwich? Yes or no? Because I'm an idiot. Just leave it. Yeah. Don't don't, don't, don't touch it at this point. We don't point. delete poll questions. I mean, we'll, we'll reserve the right to if delete I, if, poll if questions. I, if I find it quick enough, yes. I, I will. But, yes. I mean, that's been up for uh, 23 minutes now. All right, Josh. No, you can't do it now. No, it's time for the tweet bag. Let's do it. What do we got? Uh, let's start on YouTube with uh, our our good friend Mike here. Tweet bag question for you: As two expert College World Series attendees, what advice do you give to our new friends who will attend for the first time this year? I want to help out some friends from Evansville and KSU. I would say first of all, make it. Yes, you will want you'll want to know that first. You're but... going to want to yeah. You're going to want to be in it. But if you are in it, uh, okay, some suggestions or uh, things to do. Adv- okay, advice was the word. Good, 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 good. I would, um, the, the parking situation has gotten a lot more clear yes. over the years. It's gotten a lot more, it's gotten a lot more easy to navigate. I, I remember vividly the first couple of years of the new downtown ballpark nobody knew where they were going nobody knew what lots what lots were i would just tell you as you're driving you're likely driving down coming street to get to the ballpark coming off of uh, the interstate just go all the way to lot d and pay ten dollars yes I don't would, go go to lot d and pay ten dollars don't stop like 15 blocks away and yeah. go well this is as close as we're gonna get no. i just know it no, no like go go all the way go to lot d. i know i know like we have memories of rosenblatt and parking on mm-hmm. people's yards and there's you know kids outside with the signs and they say can you help my little baseball team or something like I'm selling bags of chips I, I as much as i would love to help the local little nope. baseball teams um just go make it really easy for yourself go park in lot d if you have uh while you're in lot d if you have tailgate capabilities bring a flag representing yeah who you are and just camp out definitely stop by the omaha baseball village yeah where there will us. be many fun things to see and do mm-hmm. uh, get a rum bucket at the mat oh hello uh go across somebody said uh sal said go across the other way on the north side up to uh the millwork, they got some stuff mm-hmm. going on in there. Yeah. They support all the local businesses. There's a nice brewery there, nice ice cream shop there. And if you, you want, you can, you know, if you need another hangout, you can go all the way up to the Capitol District downtown and, you know, hang out there for a little while. Whatever you got to do. Um, It's, but like, be there for a day, take it all in. And if you want to do your shopping, shopping, wait until after the first weekend and like go between a game, you know, between, be, between games or, or during the second game, something like that. That Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday gets a little, a little more elbow room yeah. for everybody involved. You're going to hear a lot of, Oh, you got to do this. Oh, you got to do this. I don't know that there's a lot of, is there a, you got to do something. I, I don't like, Oh, we got We got to go to Rocco's. We got to go. We got to go here. We got to go there. I don't know that there's a lot that like, no. oh, you have to do this or you have not experienced the College World Series. I would say Zesto's is is good. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, unfortunately, the, yeah. the stadium is set up in such a way where, you know, the, the, the big statue is out front, which is on the northwest side of the stadium. The wrong side. And nobody goes there. Yeah. Nobody goes in the front gate. Uh-huh. You know, everybody goes in that right field gate. There's there's a good tip for you. Mm-hmm. 
go, go in, in go in a different gate. Go in the front door. Go, either go in the front door, or if you really feel up to it, go all the way to the left field gate instead of the center field gate. Go all the way to the left field gate. Nobody ever there. Nobody ever. <laughs> Zero people ever. You will walk right in. You will have a great time with security. You will have no issues whatsoever. They will be happy to see you as you have given them something to do yeah. on that particular day. Yeah. Uh, what do you have on the text machine? I want to. I feel. I always feel like I'm forgetting. A few the texters. Uh, tweet bag from the seven one two. Hello seven one two. I got asked to chaperone a field trip for my five year old daughter's summer daycare. Would you do it, or are you like me? I can't stand other people's kids. They're gross. A field trip for a five year old. Yes, that's really weird. That that came up because my five-year-old is on a field trip today mm. i was not asked to chaperone <laughs> interesting i might have considered it had they asked like i kids like me i'm not sure that like kids like you Josh? i like kids. yeah they all oh odds, you're the f- oh okay odds and men kids just run up to us and are like enamored with us for some reason they start, i don't they I don't start know what punching you my dad was this way uh and i'm this way where kids just run up to us and are like hey have you seen my red truck mister and they like here's here's my red truck and they drive it up my leg and i'm like oh okay yeah oh, that's a great red <laughs> truck you got there kid i don't know if it's that we just are dumb enough to humor the child or that is amazing yeah. there has to be some science to that Right, I don't know what it is. What makes you so approachable by the children? Is it something in our eyes? Because I, I, I don't mean, know. No, you're right though. Not everybody gets that. Right. Some of the kids, the kids stay away from. It, it has to be more something more complicated than just like how you look. Mm-hmm. There has to be some sort of like gravitational pull. Yeah. You know, we've long wondered, but we're not smart enough to figure it out. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Anyway, I mean, it definitely, that's a great fact to hang on to. Um, It definitely depends on where the field trip is. Yeah. I need a little, I need a little bit more detail from the seven one two here. Is it indoors? Is it outdoors? Um, Is it a one up? Like if you do it, are you going to be asked to do it six more times? Ooh, good. Because you really want to not do that. I want to stress that this is a one time thing that I will help you out because you have asked. What's going on at work? Do you feel like Mm -hmm. you need to get a day off? Mm -hmm. You know, careful about asking for those days off. It could become a whole political thing in your office. (laughs) Please be very careful about this. I would want to offend the people who aren't here. I would say generally, generally, without knowing a whole lot about this specific situation. I would say do it. I would say do it. I would I would lean that way as well. I mean, they they must have asked you for a reason. It's right? different. It's unique. I can tell you this: if if it's me and it's my job, and I'm I, I'm taking a day off of work to go chaperone a field trip or something like that, I'm coming back n- the next day with so much content, mm-hmm. so much content. Whole we can block out the whole four hours. We could Connor's field trip dossier. All right. I got to I got We want to do more on the text yeah, line. Yeah, please. Al here. Hi, Al. If Omaha and Lincoln went to war, who would win? Wow. We have more people. We do. Now that doesn't always, but they have more crazy people. They do. They are crime town. They have more zombies. It seems as well. One of national note this week. <laughs> yep. Well, I guess they, she's not with us anymore. No. Not even in a zombie form. Wow. If, I, hmm. Now, what, what resources are we, are we tapping into? All you know, of them, right? We have, we have a bigger airport. I mean, we have, um, we have an air force. Well, I guess it's we have, technically Bellevue, but it is an air force base at, yeah. our, at our disposal. We have more arenas. <laughs> now they have the biggest arena. But we have more arenas. Uh-huh. We outweigh them in arenas. You can't tear down a steel house. Oh. Um, Jet fuel can't melt steel houses. <laughs> nice. Uh, what else can we? How else? I mean, we have easier to navigate roads, which could work out to Lincoln's advantage because if it all of a sudden becomes on their turf, all of a sudden all the Omaha people just get too triggered and they go yeah. home. Sal has asked who has more lions. Omaha or Lincoln? Yeah. Omaha, right? 
correct. I w- I would just assume. But we but have that's we me have assuming. we have multiple lions. Does right. Lincoln does Lincoln Children's Zoo have any lions? I don't know. Let's find out. I've literally never been. Why would I go? Great question. I always said the same thing. People were in college who were like, we're going to the zoo. I'm like, we have a zoo. It's in Omaha. Jefferson Steelflex. Omaha has zoo animals we could weaponize. <laughs> I love that multiple people came to us with, well, weaponize the zoo animals. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Uh, we have another zoo related uh, question on the tweet bag, by the way. But have we explored this one enough? I'm try- I'm still trying to find out if the Lincoln Children's Zoo has I- any... Uh, now let me does the Lincoln let me extend an olive branch here. I often make fun of Omaha's mayor. I think she would be dead set not to lose, and would do whatever it took. You think she's got a competitive streak to, to win her? a war? Well, she has a nickname that would indicate that. Yes, Connor. I'm not familiar. You're not familiar with Mean Gene. Oh, she doesn't like when you say that, by the way. Oh, Josh, don't, don't say it then. We don't need to get on the mayor's bad side. You didn't know. I tried to work around it. Uh, we have, of course, much better sports talk. Look at all the sports oh, talk we have. So much the, talking. The best sports talk. Jefferson Steel Flex. She would definitely try and nuke Lincoln. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the question, though, Al. I appreciate it. That is a great question. Uh, by the way, we did get a follow-up from the 712 Zoo that. Chaperone situation. It is at the zoo. It will be an absolute bleep show. I mean... It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. But I'm still saying yes. I, I Yeah. I so it's, yeah. It's, it's, As long as it's a one-off, you got to make it very clear. I'm never uh, doing this again. It's a one-time deal. I will help you. I mean, it's a day at the zoo. Like, It's better than going to work, right? Uh, Pedro writes in. Hi, Pedro. Thanks for the cookies. Hi, guys. Harambe is shot right in front of you. Would you bring out your phone and live TikTok the sad event? <laughs> Ooh. What would you do if Harambe was shot right in front of you? I I assume I'm not the one who has to like... You don't dart in and save the child because no, no, no. there was a child involved. No, you are at, I mean, in a situation like the gorillas, <laughs> you are asked to actually probably stay as far away as possible. So, in this in this case, you're not saving anybody. Like, I, I see people, okay. people get on everybody all the time for like, uh, this person was getting robbed, and all you had the gall to do was pull up, whip out your phone and put it on World Star on TikTok. Yeah, that's evidence. That should have been Josh at the Casey's yesterday morning, by the way, but really regret. I genuinely regret not doing in this specific case. It like you're not like you are not being asked to jump into action. You being a good Samaritan is either going to get you eaten by a gorilla or shot by a trank gun or something like that. Like, it's not going to work out. You don't need to jump into the cage and save the child. It would actually be disadvantageous to the situation it would hurt the situation Th- then yes absolutely. so i would probably pull out my tiktok camera and start start filming but i don't know i i oftentimes look at these situations and like these these very fast moving public situations and i'm always like how do these people think to get their phones out so far? like that's like like the 10th thing down the list for me it's never the first thing that pops into my head did you see the video and this is a sad one did you see the video of the guy who got ran over by the ran the, over? the the truck the, I don't it was a guy in a pickup truck oh and the guy went up to him and he and he like you know had a gun on him and then he backed up came for like back way up came way forward ran over the guy sent him flying he died no and this there's a video of the entire thing on the internet it was the craziest thing I've ever seen why would seen. Scotty Scheffler do that <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't Scotty oh okay it wasn't Scotty Scotty was traveling at a much slower rate uh, no, I did not see that. I would pull out my TikTok cam and uh, would hey. you record the incident or would you give a take? Because like, was the incident of the- of of the gorilla being shot actually was it on video? Is it on video, or do oh. we just have the do we just have pictures of Harambe and the child? The actual the actual video of the deed is probably out there somewhere. I have to watch an ad first. No, well, of course you do. To see whether or not this is or is not what I want it to be. A couple thoughts on Omaha versus Lincoln. 
Uh, Mike Schaefer tweets in. Mike, are you just listening all day? I appreciate that. He's, Thank you. He's just being a dad. Love that. Soon enough, he's going to be chaperoning trips to the zoo. Oh, yeah. National Guard might be a Lincoln advantage. Hmm. Hurt and Husker fan on YouTube asks why you're saying gorilla like Snooky from Jersey Shore. <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's actually Mike Francesa, but thank you. Mm-hmm. The gorilla. Uh, for- Whoa. Text to the 402. Omaha has more sinkholes. And Brian asks Bell- if Bellevue counts because we have off it. I asked the off it question as well. Uh, I have video of the gorilla, the gorilla and the child in the exhibit. Yes. Yeah. They had to shoot this gorilla. Yeah. I mean, they did. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's dragging the child through the lazy river. That yes. Is... But the, the, the argument afterwards came because the intentions of the gorilla, AKA Harambe were good. We're fine. They, they like, seem, they, they seem, seem motherly. The, he, he just didn't realize she, whatever didn't re- harambe didn't realize that if you drag around a child enough it'll uh, probably die yeah. after a while i don't think i have video of the uh the Inter- end interesting uh here is tom hi tom i live in cincinnati and i am close to uh, lexington kentucky and columbus ohio my son wait i feel like we've got this question before my son attends auburn whose football team will be playing at kentucky this fall and we have access to an awesome suite to watch the game. But I also want to be in Columbus that day for Nebraska versus Ohio State. Which game should I attend? Tom in Cincinnati. So it is a choice between Nebraska, Ohio State, and... And Kentucky, Auburn in a suite. I'm leaning Kentucky, Auburn, if, I, if I'm honest with everybody. Why, why is that, Josh? I mean, do you sweet. think Nebraska is going to get slaughtered no. like the gorilla? No, I do not. The Buckeye defense will not drag around Dylan Riola like a small child. Yeah. Although he is a child. Only in only in age. Yes. He's a big boy. He is a big boy. He's a big boy. Thick. You know, I have never felt this need to go to the shoe. Have you ever oh. felt the need to go to the shoe? No. I haven't. It seems like a just a, a bleh stadium. I'd like to experience it, but I don't like it is not one of the this is probably pretty offensive to Ohio State fans. Clickbait yeah. this, Josh. Oh no, don't I, worry. I, I don't I don't feel like it's one of the the cathedrals of college football. I do not feel the same pull to go to an Ohio State home football game as I do like a Saturday in the SEC or, you know, or, or like specifically program wise, like um, Alabama, I'd love to experience that Michigan, you know, even though it's a disaster of a stadium, it's the big house. Right. Right. Notre That's Dame. That's why I picked the SEC game. Yeah. Oregon, even mm-hmm. throw them in there or something like I, I they're, like, I'm oh, sure there's plenty Zoo more. gets wild, man. Yeah. Ohio state. I don't get that. Like, I don't get that. They, Great their, team year in, year out. Like their merits are based on their football play, which right. is a very positive thing, obviously. But it's not like, oh, we have the coolest, most fun atmosphere stadium wise in America. I don't I don't think they do. In fact, the like the best teams, that's rarely the case. Because we don't think about the intricacies of what makes those places cool. It's just that their football team is good. Yeah. Like Alabama. Ah, at the, at this I, rate, I'd no. probably rather go to the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. Hell yeah. I mean, it's a Even little, it's not on campus. It's a little corporatized at the Ohio states yeah. and the Alabama. It feels more professional the, than anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that answers your question. So with that being said, Tom with an H from Cincinnati, check out Auburn and Kentucky. Why Tom not? from I know I'm I'm sure I've made this joke before. Tom with an H from Cincinnati. Tom with an H in Cincinnati. Yeah. Is this, is this a man of faith emailing us? <laughs> I'm sure I've made this joke before. It's a deep drive to left by Castellanos. <laughs> I think Tom with an H from Cincinnati is not sure if he's going to put on this headset again. I mean, you you noticed that a game in Kansas City was not one of the choices. That's. There's a reason for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael writes in on the text line. Hi, Michael. Lincoln will have Matt Rule give a if we die, we die speech leading the charge over I-80 into Omaha. If we die, we die. That's Matt Rule 
who who would probably lead the charge. He is kind of the president of Lincoln. He would be. He's the commander in chief of Lincoln. Now, Connor, you're not going to get this reference, but just give me give me a minute here. He would. Matt Rule would walk on stage in the war, get up the helmet, the the military outfit behind a big American flag, a la Patton, and. All he would need to say is, if we die, we die. We die, we die. And all of Lincoln would come running to Omaha. Who's the commander-in-chief of Omaha? If if we had okay. if we needed the best possible person to send out the call for Omaha to grab their weapons and meet everybody at the Gretna outlets on I-80 so we can fight Lincoln, right. who is that person? Is it Mac? I don't love. I mean, Mac's not a rah rah guy. If if all the Nebraska people are eliminated from this conversation, because uh-huh. I mean, Rule could theoretically pick sides. He would have both sides whipped up pretty good. Sure. Uh, so would John Cook. You know. Uh, I mean, yeah, Mac is certainly his 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 Rule's equivalent, I guess, in this conversation. I mean, Paul Lamangi isn't. Uh... <laughs> um. What about, uh, I mean, oh, okay, good one. Jay Skirtan, Bud Crawford. Okay. Bud Crawford. That's better. If Bud Crawford uh-huh. got up and was like, all right, it's time. It's okay, guys. I got this. We'd, we'd follow him. Follow me the, to freedom. Into the pits of hell. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll follow you into the mists of Avalon, if that's what you mean. Guys, I've been shot. It's fine. <laughs> Adam says it has to be Coach Mack. I don't know. I think uh, Bud Crawford, Jay Skirtan, I think he's got it. Yeah. I was have, thinking have Warren. I was thinking Warren, but he's too meek. No, it would that would be a vice. And his stock's situation. down. Yeah, whatever happened with that? Is that real? This is a glitch, apparently. Just a just a glitch. Just, just a glitch. Don't hey, if I lost, it was just a glitch. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you. Good bag, everybody. Yeah, yeah, really good bag. Good bag. We'll be back after this on sixteen twenty the zone. The Connor Happer Show. Follow us on Twitter at Happer Show for all the latest news and views. We may even say something interesting once in a while. Unlikely. Really, guys? 